I'd like to show you uh, some demonstrations of our TMR sensors. Before I do, I just want to give a quick overview of what exactly is tunnel magneto resistance. Well, the device itself is actually formed by two ferromagnetic layers sandwiched between a very thin uh, insulating layer that's only about eight atoms thick. And at uh, rest, these two ferromagnetic layers, their, their electrons are spinning in certain directions, but each layer uh, the spin is out of alignment, right? So they're, they're out of phase. So electrons can tunnel through that very thin insulator layer between them, but they do so very slowly. The net result is it's a very high resistance. But when you present a magnetic field, uh, those layers start to align with one another. And when they do, all of a sudden the rate of electrons tunneling goes up. The result is the resistance goes down. So to sum it up, no magnetic field, high resistance, a magnetic field, low resistance, right? And that's the core of it. And uh, when we package that up, it becomes our RR110 analog sensor. So this is the device right here. Uh, when I have my little magnet here approaching, as that magnetic field gets stronger, it's responding to it by having the resistance drop. And so all we have here is a very simple voltage divider circuit. And as that magnetic field is hitting certain points, the resistance is dropping and LED lights on this array are going on and off. Now one interesting aspect of our devices here are that they're unipolar, which means that they respond to a north magnetic field on the single pin side, but they won't respond to a south field. So you can see if I turn the device around so the south pole is facing, I can go very close to the sensor and still not activate. I can activate the, with a south field from the two pin side. So you see if I come around here and move towards the device, you can see I'm getting that same response we saw earlier. And again, if I flip it around so that the north field is close, nothing. If you're not necessarily interested in an analog sensor that can do this continuous position sensing, but you're really just interested to say, you know, I just need to know a critical threshold has been, has been reached, that, that whatever object I've, I'm tracking has hit a certain point in space, then maybe the 120 or the 130 series is more up your alley. So the RR130, as we call it, is a step from the 120. The RR120 takes our RR110 and basically somewhere on that resistance uh, drop, uh, we put a latch uh, so that the output now goes from being a resistance to a higher or a low voltage. Just to clarify, that's perfect for, say, a microprocessor input where you just want a trigger of you know, on, off, high, low, uh, there or not there. If you actually want to switch something, then we can use that latch as the input to an open drain MOSFET, and now the output pin uh, becomes our RR130. So again, here, we're using it to just detect a certain critical threshold to turn on an LED and a little buzzer. Uh, it's a relatively simple uh, uh, demonstration, but you can see the, the concept uh, and apply it as appropriate to your application needs.